All right, this is going to be a little quick little video on how to resurface your disc based games uh, without actually having to go somewhere and resurface it uh, in one of those disc resurfacers. I'm not really a big fan of those. It can't get the job done, but it also takes layers off the disc. Thus, maybe possibly causing it to maybe never work again. Now, as you can see, I know. This game is pretty beat up, and you're probably thinking, like, man, there's no way that this game is going to load. Okay, so this is before I've even done anything to it. Let's go ahead and just put that in real quick, so that way we can show you that it does indeed work. Alright, and as you can see it is booting up, actually fairly fast. Let's go ahead and uh, take the disc back out and uh, we'll go ahead and get to you know, what you need to do. Alright, so go ahead and get you a Surface, oh god, <laughs> go ahead and get you a Surface where you can, and just to show that it is the same game, go ahead and uh, Put it down in a surface that you don't mind, you know, being able to work on. All right, and I like to use isopropyl, uh, either 91% or higher. 99 would probably be the best, but I usually, you know, 91% uh, or higher, definitely. So get you a Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, uh, fi microfiber, sorry, uh, cloth. And I like to just put, you know, a good little bit on there. You know, give her, you know, a good little bit. And we'll start that off the process and get that up. And go ahead and just clean it, you know, a good bit. And I like to, you know, you want to go down, never in a circular motion, just down. And that, that, that gets it started with a good clean, you know, get it all nice and clean. Usually go from base down. That way it gets it all nice and clean. You don't want to use anything. I mean, even like you could even use maybe like a t-shirt. I like to use this though. Something that's not going to cause even more scratches. All right, that seems pretty decent. Go ahead and put that back down. Next step would be, I like to use uh, this compound, and this is, you know, car compound. And this is uh, Meguiar's, it's ultimate compound, and this is a really good compound that I like to use, you know, not only just on my car, but also to do stuff like this. Also, make sure you have like maybe like a, like I said, you could use a, a microfiber uh, cloth or for this step, I'm going to go ahead and just use like an old t-shirt or whatever. What you want to do is, and then just barely put, and this is just to show, it is still. Sorry about that. And just to show that it is still the same game. We'll just put a little bit of it around. Just a good little bit. It should be good. And then the next step is, so after you apply the compound like so, you just want to, same kind of steps before, you know, you want to start from here and then just go around. Like I said, never, never go into like a circular motion or anything like that. And just go around. And what this is doing 
actually, because it's compound. This is going to actually fill in the light or even deep scratches. Now, if it's too deep, obviously, if you can see through the disc, then you're, you know, you're pretty much, you, you're screwed out of that. Uh, this won't, won't help if it's see-through because it's already damaged uh, the disc. And that's not going to help it, not even taking it to a resurfacer, which that's actually going to make it even worse. So, yeah, what you want to do is just go around it, go around it. Let that fill in really good. Again, this is going to help fill in those scratches. And then, let's see, let's go over the side and get a little bit more in there. But again, like I said, this is going to help fill in the scratches. Spin it around, try to get that in there good. And then you just like pretty much just let it dry for just a little bit. All right, so we're back. So now after it's set for a good little bit, I don't know, five, maybe ten minutes or so, you go ahead and get it up. Now it's not completely dry everywhere. As you can see, it's still a little bit moisture. You could let it sit a little bit longer if you'd like. And then you could also apply another mount as well. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys. So what you want to do is go ahead and just wipe it off, you know, down with the down motion like I showed you before. You always want to do the down motion like I said, never want to do a circular motion because that can actually cause harm to the disc as well. Go ahead and just get that down. Go ahead and get another spot on your microfiber cloth or cotton t-shirt. Go ahead and just continue Again, <clears throat> what this does is it helps fill in those scratches. So that way the laser can get to the parts that it needs and doesn't run into those scratches, light or even deep. Causing the game to either not play or skip around and stuff. <clears throat> All right, let's get another spot. <clears throat> now, this obviously isn't going to, you know make it look brand spanking new or anything like that but it does help the process out and fill in all those either light or even deep scratches and you will notice a bit of a difference in the disc as well when you're done <clears throat> and like I said, you could do another coat as well and maybe even let it sit a little bit longer to help fill in a couple of those little rough spot, more rough spots. But just to show you guys that this does work. 
I'm just gonna do this one real quick. Make sure I get the access around the around the end there. Swipe it one more time. Just to make sure before I put it back in the game or the PlayStation. <clears throat> I will say this, definitely leaving it on a bit longer will help help out the situation and actually eliminate a lot of these scratches. Give me one second. And as you can see, it's still, like I said, it still has like the scratches or still looks like it, but that compound definitely helps fill it in a, a bit better, thus making it read a lot better. And uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put it in. All right, let's go ahead and open it. And you can see the game loading up. Now, last time when I did this, uh, when I was testing it just to make sure everything was working on the game or not working, it was loading fairly decent and it was going through the whole thing or whatever, you know, the, the scene and starting up. But I did notice that there was a, a few times where it was like, not really glitchiness, but you know, hesitating to read the disc. And so far this time around, it definitely is loading the game and reading it better. I'm not really seeing the jump around that it was doing before. But as you see, it's loading the game just fine. And once again, like I said, if you would like to, you know, uh, add a little bit more of that compound after you do that, the first, the first application, definitely, you know, do it again and make it maybe, maybe let, even let it sit for a, a bit longer until it gets a little bit uh, more dry. I just kind of wanted to make this video kind of quick and just show you guys that this is an easy way to do it yourself instead of taking it somewhere and and then risking obviously you know destroying your disc to where it won't read at all i know a lot of times you take your disc somewhere and they'll even tell you you know hey this could make it better or it can you know if it gets down too low it could actually destroy your game and it won't ever play again but yeah i hope this helps out anybody that uh wants to try to get some of your games resurfaced or that's having issues and uh like always if you guys are after actually if you're new here to the channel Make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And like always, game on.